As Kenya prepares to take part in the 8th Population and Housing Census on the reference night of 24th, 25th night of August 2019, the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics says this year's census will use technology in the data collection process. The enumerators are expected to use handheld mobile devices to capture the information and transmit it to the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics Central servers. One of the reasons is that uh, it's, uh, what has been recommended but uh, most importantly, again, it will eliminate that phase of the manual data entry. And the manual data entry normally has got its own problems. There will be errors that, that are involved. So the issue of the quality of data is also assured. Then uh, we can also get real-time data, which is sent to the servers as we start the enumeration process. And in that, it would shorten the time taken to release the census results and also the products if uh, we use technology. So we are sure that we are going to release the census results uh, within a record time. According to the Director General Zachary Mwangi, the adoption of technology is part of the recommendation of the United Nations where countries are encouraged to adopt use of mobile technology in data collection. The census undertaking is a very well-guided process. Under the UN, they normally come up with recommendations on how to undertake a population and housing census. And now we are at the 2020 round of censuses. And uh, one of the key recommendations is to encourage countries to take advantage of technology so that they can uh, conduct their census. Mwangi stated that the objective of the census was to capture up-to-date data on the population. The Kenya National Bureau of Statistics aims to recruit 164,700 field census personnel, that is 2,700 ICT supervisors, 27,000 content supervisors and 135,000 enumerators. The population in housing census is conducted after every 10 years as provided by the 2010 Constitution of Kenya, the Statistics Act 2006, and the Statistics Census of Population Order 2018 Legal Notice Number 205, Vide Kenya Gazette Supplement Number 141. Cartographic mapping is uh, we uh, demarcate the whole country into smaller units, which we refer to as elimination areas, we call them ears, and these normally have got an average of 100 households. The 2019 census comes as the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission prepares to realign the borders of Kenya's constituencies before 2021. Data collected during the 2019 census will provide crucial information on evidence-based development planning as well as administrative and policy decisions and research so as to enable the government to achieve its mandate. Reporting for Channel 1 News, I'm Jackie Wambiru.